do you sort of uh, reflect on what's happened today? You've made some steps forward and I guess there are no steps backwards. You're just heading in the right direction. Yeah, I think as a team we are definitely with the two cars in the top 10, sorry, in the top three, <laughs> four, every session. And um, and I think it's been a, a positive uh, a positive start for the team. We're confirming a bit the, the good feeling that we had since testing. Um, for my side, honestly, FP2 was quite tough. I, I still don't understand fully the the car in the short runs. I am struggling with the front tyre, with the warm-up, uh, with a lot of uh, mid-corner understeer and still not driving and not driving it probably the way I should in the, in an ideal manner. So quite a bit of homework to do in that side and I need to work through the night and make sure that I that I find some lap time for tomorrow. And that's, I guess, something that won't really improve in FP3 tomorrow. So are you kind of just hoping the overnight homework will do the trick? Well, I think I know where, where we need to work on and I know which areas we need to improve and hopefully we can take the right steps going into tomorrow and take a, a clear step forward because at the moment I'm not entirely happy and not uh, not in a great place with the driving and the, and the feeling with the front tires. But you are right up there. Um, yeah, it, it shows that we we are we are in a good position. That even without a great day, I I was still up there. And then um, a little bit of traffic you encountered. Do you envisage that being a problem come tomorrow evening? Uh, mainly in the outlaps. I think everyone has realized that this year the outlaps are a bit quicker. We need to get a bit of temperature into those tires, and. Um, and yeah, if you find people on the outlaps, then it could be tricky to, to find a feeling on the tires.